You know uh, what I realized the other day? That we have what? kettlebells and we haven't done the most staple the movement. The most staple <laughs> movement with the kettlebell. How did we breeze over this? Kettlebell backflips with a handspring. <laughs> okay, yeah. here we go. You've got the kettlebell. I saw a guy, did you see that guy doing that the other day? I didn't see that. Oh, you didn't see it? He takes the kettlebell and he does the hips. Oh, and he, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. throws them up. And uh, throw, we're yeah, not yeah. doing that today. We're actually <laughs> going to show you that crazy. The, probably the most well-known kettlebell exercise, yeah. one that's unique to kettlebells, which is the swing. Well, can swing. we, before we go into the mechanics of the swing. We need to talk about your hat. Just kidding, continue. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. What's, uh, yeah, man, it's something festive. Awesome. And festive. Yes. Is why you would do a movement like this. Mm. Uh, and I, you see uh, the most, this, you see people do this like a squat swing, which drives me crazy when you mm. see people do this. Actually, one of Let our me old friends that, Yeah, I believe, I, think, I believe Justin made fun of Joe Donnelly for doing this movement like this. Yeah, now that's the wrong way to do it, by the way. Yeah. It's not, I mean, this is an exercise, but it's not the kettlebell swing. Yeah. Kettlebell swing is a, hip hinging movement. It's a ballistic yes. movement. There's momentum involved. There's power. Uh, it can be done. It can what build cardiovascular. What is the difference it. between squatting and hinging your hips? Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. Let's, let's look at it. So, so do the wrong one and then do the right one. You just did the wrong I one. I just did the wrong one. So the wrong one, I'm basically squatting down with my hips versus the right one where I'm going to try to hinge my hips back. So I'm actually staying in a fixed position in my knees and my hips are traveling back, which is putting a bit more of a stretch here and the hamstrings getting the posterior chain connected and then I'm gonna snap my way out of it. Now, this is a hip driving move, so this isn't something where I'm really trying to add strength with my upper body to pull the kettlebell forward. When you, do it, when you do it correctly, you don't actually move your hands at no. all. Your, the power of your hips actually will so naturally you, swing the dumbbell. The power dumbbell. of the hips compels you. So you're, you're actually, you're flinging it, <laughs> yeah. is what you're doing. Because that's where I get, I see other people How mess up. How did you up. get a hole in your shirt? He's too I, it's a brand new shirt. He's, He's too buff. That's <laughs> when I ran into something. <laughs> How dare you notice that? <laughs> um, I think it's, uh, uh, one of the big problems that people have too with this is that they're so used to traditional resistance training where you lift with control and tension that mm -hmm. with this particular movement, it's not a controlled movement. It's controlled in the sense that you want good form, yeah. but it's not a slow lift. It's kind of ballistic. You oh, know? I think that's why it's a hard concept to, for your average person to be able to digest immediately because you do. You have, there's a loose quality to it that you need to have. You can't go into it trying to strength, you know, pull your way through it. It's, it's something that has to come with, uh, you know, a nice fluid type of flexibility, but I have to accelerate it. And by accelerating mm. it, I have to really ignite those hips to drive my way through it and then be able to receive and catch and, and keep this pendulum swing. Like a golf swing. Exactly. It's something that's a very, it's finesse. But this is continuous It's, it's, it's finesse, yeah. continuous. but it's accelerated. It's power, it's driven uh, by speed. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna kind of maintain a, a shoulder to hip width with my feet and I'm gonna grab the kettlebell. I, you see this a lot of times, people will have it behind them so that it forces them to get in a hinging position and they're oh, gonna to reach get the behind. So this is a, usually this is a starting position people teach. And one other method that people teach to kind of get you into this position where I need to kind of get this spring-loaded effect where say I'm holding onto a rubber band or I'm holding onto a towel and somebody behind me is holding onto that and then they release now it's like a catapult. It releases, psh, now it snaps my hips forward. Oh, that's great, I, I never catch. knew that. So that's one technique Excellent. I'll use for that. Um, <clears throat> this just kind of places you in a good position where I have to really get behind here to be able to even produce the type of movement I want because I do want my shoulders to come down and I do want to be able to get this type of response here and stretch out of my hamstrings and then accelerate through. So I'll grab and then I'll come out. And you can see he's thrusting the hips, hinging at the hips, and it's continuous. The bell is swinging back and swinging up. He's not lifting it with the shoulders. He's not l muscling it up. It's, a, it's actually a technical movement. Um, one thing about kettlebell swings that I, rec that I recognized is there's a big cardiovascular component as well. It's a yeah. conditioning exercise also. Well, any movement where we, we have to hip hinge is challenging just because it's uh, it's challenging for most people to connect to that, to connect to the posterior chain, to activate the hips to go forward. It's very natural for us. Most people are in that anterior pelvic tilt position, so getting themselves to, to throw those hips forward is just a, a technical position. So it's yeah. more advanced. Like I don't normally teach 
a, a kettlebell swing until I've got my client the, the understanding of hip hingement. Yeah. So mm -hmm. after I've progressed you through like floor bridges and real basic, simple, isolated movements, and, I, and once I've made that connection to them of what that feeling, what it should feel like when you hinge properly at the hips and not squatting down like Justin was showing the first time, then I say, okay, like then we can move into a movement like this where we're trying to um, express power. And, with and it. you know, the applications of this. Though, first of all, yes, it is uh, a little bit complicated, but it's not so complicated that you can't teach most people who are healthy. Yeah. Unlike, uh, let's say, a, a clean or a snatch, which right. is extremely technical. If you want to learn power, you want to get speed and some conditioning, but you don't have the time to learn and dedicate yourself to learning how to mm -hmm. do a snatch or a clean. Kettlebell swing is a great, uh, a great replacement. Um, the applications for those of you that want to develop your glutes, hamstrings, and back are excellent. Mm -hmm. And for athletes, the conditioning aspect of this is fantastic. Doing yeah, this, I mean, you can hear Justin breathing right now. It's a <laughs> no, conditioning sorry. exercise. Yeah. No, it totally gets your heart rate elevated like crazy. And uh, it, just to reiterate, as far as like the hip hinging part of it. Um, with clients, I'll typically, I won't even have them shooting for anything higher than the chest uh, to get uh, the bell. As far as even taking the bell only about this far away as far as travel is concerned, just to make sure I'm snapping properly out of the hips. This is like a little practice movement. It's just there. a little precursor to getting a little bit more travel, and you'll see how much more explosive your hips get. The bell just naturally kind of goes up and elevates. Well, to me, that's always a sign, too, that you're not doing this correctly, is if you feel this in your shoulders, if you right. feel this in your if arms. Going, this is my, and I know this is a, a style of its own. This is more RKC, which is what I'm kind of demonstrating. Mm. But uh, people do bring it all the way up over their head, and uh, I just feel that's unnecessary. Mm. And, and I'm trying to get more out of the exercise by including this shoulder raise. So you don't typically teach it that way? I don't teach it that way. Excellent. But, so there you go. There you go, finally, kettlebell swing.